All right, I just uh, I just got through watching a video from Soul Navigation uh, with Meredith, huh? and I absolutely love her astrology stuff. Let me get that out of the way. I, I, this is not about th what I'm about to say is not about attacking her. It's just about you know, um, it's about explaining again, just responding, explaining my my uh, encounter uh, viewpoint on something that she said that really got my Mars going. Um, what, what she was, her last video, she was talking about, uh, how to find your soulmate. It's like the second part in this little series of hers. And at first, you know, I was, I was okay with it. You know, she, you know, she's talking about like, if you have, you know, certain planets, uh, that are trined sextile or conjunct, you know, with each other, and then that's her soulmate, right? And I was like, okay, that's cool. Uh, and then she got into something that I've I've heard other people say this before, and I've always had a problem with with this. But remember, I'm ta I'm attacking I'm attacking an idea, a philosophy, a belief system that I think is faulty and very dangerous to have here on Earth. Okay, and that's when she said that even if you have somebody who is abusive, who's done some nasty things to you, she believes that we all we all came down earth with a plan we all agreed upon something and that free will free will um is more predominant here okay um and so basically the free will will will, will uh um uh, will, will basically uh, override the, the plan right you you basically can not follow the plan that you originally came here to do and okay, we'll say we'll just say that that's true. I don't. If it's true, I don't believe this knowledge should be in the hands of of you know, the average people. Not in hers. Not in you know. Not in um, anybody with the kind that kind of influence. You know, because because what that does, in my opinion, it, it kind of opens the window of giving people who are abusive an excuse to do what they're doing. You know. Um, but then they got to ask this question. If there's free will involved, and then there's the plan, if the plan, whatever the plan is, if you had a plan for something, but the person you know, using their free will uh, does not follow that plan, are, do you have a right to get angry at them for not following what they agreed upon? And, and if we're not really conscious of what that plan was... <laughs> Then how, what, how do we discern what exactly they agreed, what we agreed upon, and we didn't agree upon? You know. <sighs> and hold on. And honestly, though, I can tell you that that going through that that kind of abuse, going through it, it's just too much. It is just too much for me to play around with the idea. That all this was just agreed upon, and I shouldn't be mad at my my soulmate because we all agreed upon this and stuff. And at one point, I kind of shared that. I, I, I to some degree, I share I share that belief system, right? But see, here's the difference. I understand it's a belief system, and where I get you know kind of you know troubled with is that people people who are going to look at her and or anyone with the YouTube channel with that kind of audience, they're going to idolize these people. And then speaking of, uh, and, and basically they're not going to discern that this person's just giving their viewpoint. This is not facts. This is not tangible, provable facts. This is someone else's philosophy. Um, you know, they're going to idolize and say, "Oh, this is this is so and so from whatever channel," when really they're just the regular person like anyone else. Like me, even me, right? Um, another thing I did not agree with was she said that she considers Neptune to be the higher... I mean, yes, it's the higher octave of Venus, but she considers Neptune to be, to be the ultimate love. Nope, I gotta disagree with you. And I, and, and I don't call myself an astrologer. Um, I know some things, but I don't know small things like lingo, the lingo and shit. But no, uh, I don't agree at all that Neptune is the highest form of love. It's it, it's it's very illusionary. It's the honeymoon phase in a marriage. Saturn 
Now, Denise from Peru uh, Astrology is an astrologer. And she's, she said in one of her videos, now you're going to be listening to this, Denise, you said in one of your videos um, that um, Saturn, you believe Saturn was, was the ultimate form of love. And I can agree with that because Saturn is staying power. Sa Saturn is, is, is the test. Saturn is like, how long can you stay here um, and basically put up with hardship? That's the ultimate form of love. Because, you know, most people, when they, you know, when they get married because of Neptunian reasons, it doesn't last. Because it's, 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 it, nept, think of Neptune as heaven. We, we don't really have, everyone's always trying to look at how to create heaven on earth. And it's very hard to do that because this world, this world that we live in is, is very Saturn-like, you know. So, that's why... When you get with someone, you don't get with them because it, it's idle. You know, it looks you know it looks like pretty you know it looks you know pretty and and you know spectacular all the time. Um, but that's not to say that if something's not working that you shouldn't leave. But you go know what I'm saying. You stay with somebody with the expectations that it's not going to look like a fantasy novel all the time. You know, because that, again, that's Neptune. Uh, and, we're, and they said that Saturn is rewarding. When you go through the test of time and you go through the hardships and stuff, Saturn's very rewarding. What's the reward? The reward is that you had yourself something that although it was a struggle to get there, you had it and it lasted because you stayed on course. You stayed with a person who, again, as long as it's not abusive and as long as it, as long as it still works, right? Because i got to be very careful how I describe this because... Um, but I'm saying as long as it, you know, as long as you're not, you know, as long as you, you didn't get, you know, get involved with, with uh, a soulmate uh, for Neptunian reasons, then, um, you know, then I, like I said, the, the reward is that you, uh, you had yourself something that lasted. So, this is actually the second take on this because I, I was, I'm trying to make sure I, I say this the right way. Um, but I guess that's all I got to say. But if you listen to this, thank you for listening. I'll talk to you later.